Hey everyone, I am Jessica Alstrom, and this is your introduction to quantum fitness. Quantum fitness is a totally integrated program for the body, mind, and soul. And for the last eight years, I have had an online academy that has focused around quantum biology and the idea of quantum physics, creating and assisting us as creative beings with building our reality. And over the last eight years, I have taught everything that I could possibly summons from the divine and life experience uh, really about the mind body soul connection and how unhappiness and suffering basically comes from separation. And with separation, what happens is we begin to separate from ourselves. We are in a collective environment basically wired for separation, wired for dysfunction, wired for, for misunderstanding. And from a very, very young age, we are trying to figure out how it all works. We are watching, we are witnessing, we are practicing, observing, and oftentimes allowing, because we want to be accepted and loved and we wanna fit in, at least with our families, the first seven years. So over the last eight years, I have taught probably hundreds of workshops. I have probably 25,000 to 30,000 hours of curriculum sitting in my academy to date. But let's be honest, words don't teach. Life experience is what's teaching you. And the most practice you are getting with all of the work that you've studied, the modalities that you have under your belt, the toolbox you have, the knowing that you have, the desire that you have is really going to truly only integrate from experience because it is experience that teaches the body who you are. And when we study only etherics and we learn to get higher and higher and higher, the body that is primarily in density begins to separate further and further away from us. So although it feels amazing to be connected to source and it feels truly true to be in that meditative state of stillness, knowing, awareness, peace, being satisfied, harmony. Well, once that meditation ends and we're sitting at the dishes to receive a negative phone call, we may forget that inner peace because that inner peace is more in the mind. It isn't in every cell of your body yet. And I have worked with people all over this planet Quantum Method, my academy, is in over 103 countries. And we have traveled the world demonstrating biohacking techniques. We have trained, we have certified. And ultimately, it brought me back to my zero point energy, which was there's still some things missing. And the things that were missing were really no things at all. Because by this point, we know a lot, we've done a lot, we've seen a lot, we've experienced a lot, some of what we want, some of what we don't want. But ultimately, when it comes down to integrating what we are truly into this body, it's going to require a physical experience. So what I have created, which was my missing piece that kept giving me a scratch my own head, and for me, I have always looked to my reality as my guru, what is happening to me and what is projecting from me to see basically where my personal alignment is. What is the health and vitality of my time and the, moda the, the, the malleability of me with time? Am I creating time? Am I rushed in time? Is time my bully? Am I a victim of time? This is what I would always ask myself in that idea of time. That goes true for who am I in my relationships and who are my relationships to me? Who am I to my body and who is my body to me? Who am I to my freedom and my finances? And what are those things to me? Has been my search 
this entire time. So although I never had a mentor or a coach or read other people's books, I had my reality to teach me. And my reality would tell me, you're getting hotter, you're getting colder. You're moving into alignment, you're moving out of alignment. When you do not feel seen and heard and safe and loved, that is a clear understanding that you are missing some valuable piece of alignment within you. Because we understand that at least from a logical, linear, even imaginative way, we do create our own reality. We want to believe that. We know that true in our gut, in our heart. But when we are walking around in our simulation, how does it feel right now to you? Does it really feel like you are creating everything? Or does it feel like you are creating some and some things are being created for you? Or maybe some things that you're not excited to experience are still manifesting even after all the work that you've done. And this is where this, these questions, these challenges, these issues brought me back to my drawing board, back to my laboratory, and back to my research. And I used the time of COVID to complete this process. And what I realized is that the human body is a universe. The cells, the molecules, the organs, the muscles, everything inside of you is you. But what version of you? Who is it actually? Is it you from the past? Is it you projected into the future? Is it you in this present moment guiding and commanding your own universe? Or does it feel like you might be separate from your own body? Do you feel you are separate from your money? Do you feel that you are separate in your relationships? Do you feel that you are separate from your freedom? If you answer yes to any of those, this is going to make a lot of sense for you. And as I finished up this process by trial and error and taking myself deeper and deeper and deeper inside the body, what I realized is that alchemy means all of me. And this right here represents all of you. Obviously, we're much more than this, but this is our diagram for today for you to be able to understand how you became separate from yourself and how to get back into alignment with yourself so that that stream of consciousness of that energy that you feel when you are connected to that stream of source energy is with you in every moment of every day and you don't have to feel that you are battery operated for that source you don't have to keep plugging in and then walking away and letting your battery get down low and then needing a hit off of source energy or a good book or your favorite guru or your favorite person or your favorite food or your favorite place. Because all of those things that we plug into to remind ourselves who we are is a temporary fix. And the brain becomes very, very addicted to those temporary fixes because that is what it believes you are, separate. And through practice, observation, witness, you have taught your body, not by your true awareness space, but by default of unconsciousness, that I am separate. And when I am separate, I will require a surrogate energy to give me the sensation, the hormonal rush that I am connected. And this is why when you move away from your meditation and someone leaves a dirty you know, cup in the sink or you get a big fat bill in the mail or you have a random accident, you're scratching your head and saying, I was just connected. I was just feeling on top of this universe. I was feeling as the commander and now I'm confused. Because when we move out of our meditative state and return back into our normal state, then those, those problems and challenges 
are there waiting for us? And it's very difficult for spiritual people to feel that disconnection and feel so un, uh, disconnected from their truth when they would like to use it. We know that we are infinite abundance and freedom, but how free are you with your abundance? What is stopping that flow? If all there is, is yes in the universe, there is no no, there is only yes, then the universe is saying yes to your separation. And so we have tried everything different modalities, right? Different ways to meditate, different ways of using energy medicine and natural foods, exercise, right? We have therapy under our belt, probably by now. And we might still be a little out of alignment in maybe one or two or all of those four elements, time, relationships, health, and money. That is kind of our main focus, not of what we want necessarily, but what's required to be here for now. So let's look at this idea of quantum fitness and you. So taking me, myself and I through this experience, I truly got to witness where I was disconnected still, although it didn't appear that way until I got deep inside of my body. A lot of times we're using DMT and plant medicine and cannabis to feel that sensation of high, to feel that out of body experience that feels so relieving. But then when we return back to the body where the baggage is, where the memories are, where the issues are, where the entanglement is, where the blocked energy is, where the old pain is, where the old injuries are, it doesn't feel like you. It makes you wanna jump right out. But we understand that there are four levels of consciousness. And in those four levels of consciousness, just like four valves of the heart, make up you. First one is unconscious. And that is the you that is attached to your lineage, your bloodline, your past experiences, your parallel experiences, your collective experiences, your pre-birth experience and your birthing experience, your womb experience. And these experiences are going to be so deep into the abyss of your ability to know that about yourself early on that you don't seek it usually. Yes, if you go into your Akashic records or you have a, a deep hypnosis, you will be able to connect with those places with ease in that state of diving down deep, 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 deep into your abyss. But what we're most used to working with at this point of our journey is our subconscious. And our subconscious is right below the surface. It's the you that you have been. It's what you have thought of yourself and what you believe others have thought of you. It's your memories. It's your former actions, practices, belief systems. It's the things you love, the things you don't love. It's your judgments. It's your worries. It's your failures. It's your broken hearts. It's your unrequited loves. It's your, it's your sanctuary of happiness from those moments of grandma's cookies or your favorite book. It's all of you in a summary and summarized assumption of you, what you could be as well, what you are, what you were, what you could be. Now, what this does, because we've practiced being ourselves for how many ever years you are now, then with enough practice, things become automatic, like driving a car or breathing or, you know, um, brushing your teeth or things like that, that you don't really need to pay attention to, like tying your shoes. Well, humans have probably a billion of automatic programs running so that you don't have to consciously decide in every moment what and who you are. Your subconscious says, we've got this. We know who you are. We know who you are. 
Well, that doesn't take into consideration that the conscious mind believes that it is more. It uses the past as an inspiration to become more and expand. It believes that it is more. It knows that it is more. And so it acts as if it is more. While the subconscious may believe that you're not enough or that you are devalued or unworthy somehow, where you're not deserving or allowed, or you should be doing this, or you should be doing that. So when we look at these three levels of consciousness so far, the unconscious abyss, the subconscious below the surface, the conscious you that you desire to be, and the superconscious part of you that already is. This is your future self. This is all knowing. This is your God spark or your divine soul that is complete. And that is what makes you up. The journey here is to integrate all of those four into one. So there is no separation between what you may or may have been a thousand years ago, what you were when you were eight, what you want to be right now, or who you truly are. When there is separation or disassociation or confusion or loss, grief, shame, guilt, fear, in any blockages within those four valves, those four levels of consciousness, it creates a dysfunction of your physical vessel. So with those four levels of consciousness, you have three functioning brains. You have a mind brain that is the thinker, the, the perceiver, the receiver, you have the heart brain, the connector, and you have the gut brain is your intuition. And in these three brains creates a coherence that as a being really integrates that system, you come online and you become the creator of your reality when your head your heart and your gut are all on the same page, you are an unlimited being of creation. So we have the four levels of consciousness, we have the three brains, and then you have your seven chakras. Your seven chakras, although might be invisible for a Western medicine doctor, anyone with slight clairvoyance would know that these truly exist within you. And they all have a very specific divine purpose to guide and assist you in creating whatever you want. And they have different jobs and stories that allow you to really integrate into this physical reality as if you were real. And it all starts in the root. This is where the seed of creation is. This is the I am real, I am matter, I matter. I can touch, I can feel, I can do. I can demonstrate who I am. I am free to be me. And this is me, originally. This one says I create based off of who I am. This is my creative, sensual expression of myself. This is my passion and my drive to create. And this is, I demonstrate who I am. I demonstrate freedom. I demonstrate abundance. I demonstrate all that I am. And this is, I connect. I connect who I am with other I ams with other things that have that feeling of love, nature, and people, and ideas, and resonates. This is my connection to other I ams. This one is my essence of my truth. This is my belief 
of who I am. This is my knowledge of who I am. This is my speech of who I am. And this is what I see. What I see that is yet physical, what I can imagine that I would like to create and become as an essence of my truth, and what I might see sometimes that is an area where I can fix a challenge. This is my sight. This is being able to see how you feel. And this is, I am. Hmm. I am and I am. This is, I am. I am all. I am complete. I am true spirit in etherical, energetic, source energy form. I am all creation and I am complete. This is you. Well, unfortunately, and fortunately, that in your first seven years, because your body completely rebuilds the essence of itself, every cell in your body, every organ, every, every molecule is recreated and regenerated every seven years. So you would think that every seven years we would have an opportunity to take our power back and unify this idea. But usually it takes us until maybe we're in our 20s or 30s before we start shaking our head and saying, this isn't what I want. This isn't what I want to do. This isn't who I am. And we begin to awaken. We begin to awaken the subconscious and create consciousness there. We begin to witness some of our unconscious spaces and we begin to rise that consciousness as well. But ultimately, this is how it works for you to even need quantum fitness is that when you are a root of creation, a seed, and you are born into a family, a society, a church, an idea, they already have a preconceived idea of who you are. And so they guide you based on their best of their knowledge to help you move into the I am that best fits the environment, that best fits the family. Now that is right there, a separation of your true I am. This is why children are so free to create with no regard to whether it's good or not. They act naturally without guilt or shame or embarrassment. They connect with everyone without any, any racism. It's truly unconditional, right? They speak their truth once they get their words, hopefully, and before they cry or they smile or they laugh authentically. They demonstrate that they are fearless and they love to see what is there and what isn't there until your life experience begins to hear the word that is completely counterintuitive to your universe and the universe, the word no. The word no is your root disconnection. No comes in many, many forms. It isn't always that word. Sometimes it's wait. Sometimes it's not yet. Sometimes it's don't do that at all. Don't say that. Don't feel that. Don't create that. Don't demonstrate that. And what happens is when a root seed of consciousness, which is four levels, equal parts, of unconscious, subconscious, conscious, and superconscious begin to behave authentically, usually there is a no. Now, I am not free to create who I am, but I don't know who I am until I create who I am. I don't know who I am until I demonstrate my I am. And until I demonstrate my I am, I cannot discern whether I choose that or not. So I will demonstrate from all four levels of my consciousness. I will demonstrate the pain that is in my cells. I will demonstrate the 
choices that I would like to make, who I wish I was, what I would like to create. And then we see that becomes somewhat unacceptable. That is where the trauma in the heart comes because this is how we connect to the world, to our reflection of us through other aspects so that we can mirror back the love that we have inside of us by receiving it. And sometimes this is not connection at all. It feels like no one can hear you, see you, or truly understand who you are. There becomes a disconnection. Well, then at this point of stop, wait, no, no, we begin to further separate by observing more, acting less, listening more, doing less, because we are trying to figure out who we are allowed to be and who we are allowed to not be. And once we are shamed, guilted, where we begin to worry about what we see, we then separate from our truth of our I am. And once we separate from the truth of who we are, we truly become seekers. Seekers for surrogate, receptive energy that mimics what I need. This is what creates need. This is what creates lack. This is what creates judgment and fear and shame and guilt, humiliation and grief. Because as we are taught to separate from ourselves, we are taught to attach to others. We are taught to attach to jobs and churches and things. We are taught about security and safety. We are taught to be afraid of not only ourselves, but others. We are taught to ignore our unconsciousness and seek the light. We are taught that guilt keeps us sane and good. We are taught that fear keeps you in line. And we are taught that self selflessness is love. We are taught to give more than we receive. And we are taught to listen before we become. And this is the true separation of man and woman within their own mind, heart, and gut. Once this separation happens, the coherence of the mind, the heart, the brains, the gut brains begin to lose their coherence. They lose their connection and the mind begins to seek what the heart is in others it begins to crave to know and to have because it's no longer connected to its true intuition and it begins to seek outside of us and so this root that is all knowing of i am begins to search for who it is and because it is not connected to itself it must find a surrogate energy source to sustain its ability to feel safe and free. But that is always going to be counterintuitive because the only connection it requires is this one. This one will end in rejection and abandonment all of the time. This one will be fear, money issues, body issues, community issues, government issues, and reoccurring childhood issues manifesting in your adult life. This creates issues with your creativity. This creates a need. I need this to be creative. I need the money to be creative. I need help to be creative. I need a surrogate to be creative. I need help to demonstrate or I do not demonstrate. Or I'm overly demonstrating in hopes that that will truly allow me to feel safe in my own demonstration. This will find anything that feels like home. This is what has gotten us in more trouble because this is connection. 
And connection doesn't care about wrong, right, good, bad, death, or life. And so we have finding ourselves attracted to things that feel like home that feel like connection, but because we're disconnected here, it's usually the opposite. And then we believe that our heart can break and we believe that people can truly be horrible and evil. And we perceive a reality where love doesn't win because that is the perception of my reality in my own disconnection. I'm gonna start biting my tongue. I'm gonna start festering. I'm gonna swallow my pride. I am going to put my head down and I'm going to work. Or at times I am going to be a dam of energy and I'm going to explode. I am going to reject what I see. I am going to reject what I believe that I might be seeing, or I might feel as if I can't see anything at all. I can't see what is in my imagination anymore or what is behind this veil. I want to see, but I can't. I want to know who I truly am and what my purpose really is. This disconnection here is what brings me to your life or any other teacher, guru, or guide. Because we have to then use a surrogate, a middleman, a broker to remind you that you are all that there is and assist you with your connection until you remember that I am that I am, everything. I am the universe, embodied. I am God embodied. And until this separation moves back into unity, we will always need what's outside of us to help us be ourselves. We will always need conditions to be right, money. We will always require something outside of us to make us feel safe and to allow us to trust our own confirmations of our own truth. And until this comes back together and creates a flow, this will feel like you are battery operated, which means that you can get high, but you can also get low. You can go up, 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 but then you can fall really down. You can meditate, but then you need a lot of sleep. You find yourself ill, alone, or at least feeling alone. You feel your money is drying up. It isn't a valve that's running a river. You don't know who you can trust. And there's so much information out there. Where do I start and what do I do? And I truly believe that every program that you've ever done has this same intention that I have here. I believe that we're all working off of the same truth. And there is nothing that is better than the other. There might be something better than this. I just don't have access to it. And now I have found this way using 90% of the body not the mind, to integrate. Because what happens is this separation becomes cellular. It becomes muscle memory. It becomes neural pathways. It becomes unconscious and subconscious belief systems that you're not aware of. And so you use your physical action, your physical money, your physical mind, your physical friends to talk about how you can heal how you can be free. You spend your life studying how to be free. You spend your money trying to become free or experience freedom. You spend your time studying this connection and these connections. And ultimately then what you're doing is creating new neural pathways that I am healing. Well, there is no no in the universe. So as long as you are on a healing journey, and that is your journey. That is the journey you will always be on once you awaken. Your, true, your truth is that you came to play. You came to create, decide, choose, discern, and become. 
You are allowed to change your mark, your heart, your mind. You can eat what you want. You can do what you want until this separation begins to tell you what you can do. Because this separation right here will create some gut issues, some food allergies, sensitivities. This will create fear, trust issues, insecurity, lack of creativity, and sexual dysfunction in some sort. This disconnection will separate our creative truth of the I am with how we show up, what we actually do. Do we procrastinate? Do we have big giant dreams that release a huge amount of dopamine, but then we never take action? Do we talk about things we love? Do we talk about things we don't love? Do we sit and hide from our own pain? Are we demonstrating who we really are or are we demonstrating who we wish we were? And are we putting this behind bars because we can't trust it? Who we're attracted to has hurt us. Who's been attracted to us has lied to us, left us, abandoned us. So this one has to go behind bars. This one is used when it feels safe or allowed. Where can you really speak your truth and who? How many people right now in your present moment environment can you speak with no filter? What do you see that you wish you didn't see? And what do you wish you could see? What do you wish you knew about yourself and the world and the universe and the past and the future? Well, this version of you knows. And once you reconnect all of this together, you will not be on a healing journey. You will not need to study spirituality. You will not need to call a friend for confirmation. You will not need to figure out what you're supposed to eat. You will not have to use supplements to cover up allergies and pain or eat special foods because you've identified with your issues. You will not need to lower your, your volume or hide your creative spark, or even hide the pain that is dying to become part of your purpose. We hide when we become separate. We feel alone in relationships when we are separate from ourselves. We are taught to reject and abandon ourselves for outside jobs, relationships, and love. We are taught from a very young age to keep doing this and keep doing this. And so what happens is every seven years, your energy field creates a zip drive, a shrunken version of you, and it embeds itself into every cell of your body. So now every version of you of separation is now cellular. That is why your muscle memory creates reactions. This is why we can't take a pause and respond when we're triggered. It's a reaction. This is why I want to drive to my old house, even though I moved to my new house because my brain is on autopilot. These are your automatic programs once they become cellular. And the longer they are in your cellular body, probably it takes about 30 years or three, four, seven year cycles. Then what happens is it starts to get into your subatomic space. These stories of separation become embedded in your subatomic blueprint. Now, when a new cell comes online after its death resurrection experience, it comes from the blueprint of I am separate. No matter what spiritual journey you're on, you will manifest separation until you put yourself back together. The only way that we can truly, truly put you back together is to give you a brand new body. Because once it's in your subatomic space and in your blueprint, you are not choosing your reality 100%. You are only choosing your reality maybe 30 or 40% with your work that you've done here, which means 60% of you is still bittersweet, still feels separate, still longing for the connections and the abundance and the freedom to show up. So how do we build a new body? Well, we take this idea of the Tesla 369 healing formulas 
and we have created special rooms that help you through the intention of I am and I am create a way to come back together. And when that happens through a death and rebirth experience cellularly, not you, cellular death and resurrection through everything and anything you can imagine, we are using light, sound, temperature detoxification, lymphatic de de detoxification, spinal rebalancing, cranial rebalancing, unwinding. We're using vibrocussors to reinstate energy, magnets, acupuncture, isometric fitness meditation. We're using quantum technology, scalar, scalar biofeedback, Healy technology, brain tap, intuition training, such as clairvoyance, awareness, and remembering. We're using deep, deep, unconscious unwinding, all set in a circuit. Seven rooms, seven chakras, four levels of consciousness, three brains. This is our formula. And I will tell you that the physical action of this experience has done more for me personally in one year than 12 years being on a spiritual journey or a healing journey one year my life has completely changed it's not i have to lose something to get something i need someone to reflect love back to me to feel loved i need a job to pay me i need to be on a special diet to stay healthy i need none of those things now my main job is to play and so we use every modality in one house at one time because when we open the door to consciousness we also open the door to the super consciousness when you are meditating you are also opening your unconscious because everything is a return as above is below you cannot access higher level dimensional consciousness without opening the gates of pain you're just not aware because this is below your comprehension when you're high. This is why when your serotonin wears off and your dopamine wears off and your oxytocin wears off, you are left feeling alone, broke, angry, frustrated, scared, and full of anxiety, at least in some parts of your life. In some areas of your life, because you are fractal, you do feel alignment, but is it so that something else has to give. Is your job in alignment, but your relationship is separate or your time or body? Is your body finally there where you want it to be, but something else is suffering because of it, because of your big grocery bills or your expensive gym memberships? It's going to require all physical aspects of this because what we have to do is not reprogram you. I am trying to brainwash you here. I want to return you to your factory settings that knew how to be in alignment before you heard the word no. This done gently is a very healthy kundalini rising to completion. This is I am real. And this is I am the universe. And everything in between is speaking the same. Now this becomes an orchestra this being the flute and this being the drum and everyone in between playing the right rhythm sounds of your soul your soul song the vibration of creation in alignment your pineal gland activates in this alignment of the kundalini experience and your your brain which is half masculine half feminine altered slightly by gender comes together in unity and creates the baby of your dreams, your reality. Once your pineal gland is activated, the plasma that is inside of your pineal gland triggers your lymphatic and bone marrow. This turns you into non-physical being in a physical body. This is where your so-called junk DNA 
begins to act more superhuman than like junk. This is when you know where you've been and where you're going with complete assurance, not asking a damn person. This is speaking from your heart. This is seeing and knowing. This is loving unconditionally, regardless of where anyone else is. This is demonstrating your example, creating your reality, and experiencing a soul in a body, embodied, unlimited, and allowed to play. So wherever you are in your journey and whatever you still feel is missing, even though you've probably tried this and this and this and this and this and this and this, have you tried them all at the same time? Have you given yourself an opportunity to put it all together and allow yourself to build a body from scratch, from your zero point energy, from your heart and your gut and your divine mind? who and what you are. So the program is done several different ways. You can look on our website, how we are offering it currently. There is a DIY program online, a virtual workshop that you can take to get the fundamentals of this. Or you can find one of our locations that is currently open. Right now we are located in Kansas City, which is in the US and in Canada. And I believe it's Ontario. We have other ones opening, but this is in its baby stages. And these quantum fitness centers, that is basically about fitting you back together to reminding you and remembering who you are so that you can truly be free instead of searching for it. You will know instead of reading about it. You will stop spending all of your money on different practitioners and different experiences when you are the healer. When this is together, you have joy for no reason and everything that you desire manifests very, very quickly and you're allowed to experience it. So in this particular location that I'm in right now is Kansas City. And we have a main room that we call the zero point energy room. And then we have one, two, three, four treatment rooms four valves of the heart that represent the unconscious, the subconscious. We have the, the conscious level and the superconscious. And they are marked based on the brain waves. The unconscious room is based in beta. Beta is your defense brain. It's, I have to defend who I am. I have to protect myself from more pain and loss, right? And then we have our alpha room where we begin to remember who we are. And then we have our theta room, where it is we practice and play as the I am with our therapies of all different types of color, sound, and music. And then we have our superconscious gamma room. Gamma is the frequency of I know. There is no question. There is no weight. There is no thought. There is I know. And that is where some of the most quantum technology sits in a playroom for you to play and practice who you are. So as our unwinding begins and we literally, we remove the cellular memory and we remove the muscle memory and we remove the neural pathways of the past. We have to rebuild everything before you leave because these stories are in your blueprint of separation. And so if you go through our process, right, and you do not integrate all four rooms and zero point, and you do not practice prepared play for your new I am of connection, then within three to seven days, as you go back into your environment of separation and your belief systems of separation, those neural pathways, that cellular memory and that muscle memory will come back down from the cloud of the blueprint stage. Everything that you believe you're deleting, that you've practiced more than a three year, seven year cycle has now moved up to the cloud. The cloud is kind of like when you delete something on your computer, but it goes into the trash. 
it's not gone. So you could go retrieve it. And if you do not fill empty space, your body will pick the default program. That's why we have covered all the bases. We move you back to the zero point energy and then guided through all of our brain waves and all levels of consciousness, all three of our brains and all seven of our chakras, we begin to build the new I am. And then you practice it in your life on off days. Right now, I'm offering a one week intensive that is basically six to seven days here and three days of processing with an integration day off. We're still doing things, but you're not going through the process because we have to let the body that we have basically just rebuilt, give it time to practice its new sea legs of creation allow you to become this new character and actually use your body to use your new pathways to train your muscle memory and to let the stories of your new self fill your cells. We are moving into celebration or break the cell of who we have been by celebrating who we are now. This doesn't take a lot of time because time doesn't exist. There is a lot of intention that goes into the zero point room. There is isometric meditation, fitness, and hypnosis. So while you're exercising, all of those things are happening. We're using quantum healing hypnosis, basically integrated into fitness to break down old muscle memory and recode it. We use temperature detoxification to kill off the cells that are telling your body and your brain who you are. We are basically getting rid of addiction using our methadone experience by having a full blown apothecary attached to our quantum fitness locations so that the supplementation in a microdose may be offered as the security blanket and the spirit guide that is swallowed within you, whether it's a tincture, an elixir, or a tablet, we offer all of nature's medicine here. So hopefully this gives you an understanding of this. Right now we're offering the one week integration that needs to be booked ahead of time because there's a pre and a post program that you do at home. Or if you live in Kansas City and you're lucky enough to study here with me, I have a one month and a three month program. Three months is great if you're new to all of this. One month is great if you have a lot of back story with energy medicine and practice with your own healing. And one week, if you are ready to be done with this separation, because it really is placebo intention, determination. But although we say to ourselves, we're making this up. This isn't real. This is a dream. Yes, that is true. But you are in your dream and you are real in your dream. This is your simulation and it matters to you. So we don't want to run away from our reality. We want to observe that this feels like hell on earth for fertilizer and we were supposed to grow from inside of it. This is what is going to help you know, see, have, be, create, and teach others just by your own example that you are allowed to be free because you always have been. This is what every self-help book teaches you and every new age philosophy and even quantum fitness says is that if I have seven different observers, I'm going to have seven different perspectives I'm gonna have seven different aspects of myself all desiring different things. I crave sugar because I don't have my energy from source. And I crave people because I don't have my creative brain, masculine, feminine aligned. And I crave to be seen and heard and demonstrate, but I'm terrified. I want to receive love and give love freely without being rejected. I want to share what I know 
with more people than just someone on Facebook that doesn't even know me. I want to be able to see what's not there and not be afraid. And I want to have that true connection to God, which for maybe for a long time, I believed was separate from me or above me. This is you put together. You know, you are the rainbow and you are crystalline energy. This begins to turn on your junk DNA. This activates your pineal gland. This is when heaven on earth begins to manifest outside of you. And that's what we have created here. This to me is the future of our medicine. It isn't about fixing what's broken or keeping you healing forever or teaching you how to be free with your money. It's just putting you back together and you'll know all of that because every bit of information is in the quantum field of possibilities. And this is your Wi-Fi. This is your direct connection to that. This is I know, I see, I am. I, I am because I, I know. And this is your commanding of choice. Separate, you will feel battery operated and you will need, you will want, your desire will be laced with grief and pain from the loss of the past. You will miss people. You will be angry with people. You will not know who you are. You will be on a constant journey of seeking and you did not come here to seek, you came to play. So if you're interested, reach out to us. You can find us on our website, jessicaalstrom.com. Go to our Facebook page, the Quantum Fitness Kansas City page currently, that's what it's called. We are gonna create a little website for each center that we have, but for right now it's fine to connect with us there. Or you can connect with me directly at quantumfitjess at gmail and let me know your story and let me know your questions. I will do my best to have myself or one of our team members reach back out to you and see if we can set up, uh, set up a free consultation to see if this is something that would really work for you right now. Otherwise, I hope that this explanation close some gaps for you and led you back to some of your own confirmation and understanding and awareness of who you truly are, because you deserve this. We all do. We are kind of moving into a collective of the unknown and uncertainty right now. It's as if the old world is imploding and it's trying to take us with it, but we know too much. We've done too much. We're ready. We're ready to be free. We're ready to receive the abundance that was always ours. And we're ready to know from every angle parallel past, future, who we truly are, and use that to decide and create. So thank you for joining me in this introduction, and I hope to see you guys all soon.